attended my uh, consultation at Optical Express uh, Chester in September 2008. Um, I hadn't really researched laser eye surgery, to, so this consultation was to be a fact-finding exercise. I did have a, a gut feeling that my dry eyes and surgery wouldn't really be compatible, um, but this wasn't based on any research as such. Um, so then my, the main concern which, was concerns which I needed answers to were firstly the effects of dry eyes on my suitability and of course secondly the, the, the safety of the procedure itself, which I think everyone is uh, naturally concerned about. <coughs> Many of you guys listening to this will probably recognise the scenario I'm about to describe. Uh, but for those of you who are considering booking a consultation, I hope this helps to prepare you. Uh, the counsellor appeared very professional and very personable. Um, she was extremely enthusiastic and very bubbly about the benefits of laser eye surgery. At the outset, I posed my questions about, firstly, uh, the procedure itself, um, and secondly, my suitability given given my history of dry eyes. <clears throat> I told the, the counsellor about my chronic dry eyes and explained that it had got worse to the point that I couldn't bear to wear contact lenses even for a few minutes. I explained that because of this, I was considering my alternatives ahead of um, a snorkelling holiday in Egypt. She told me that it would not be a problem whatsoever that I had dry eyes. Um, in fact, having surgery would alleviate my symptoms. I was absolutely elated to be told that, firstly, my dry eyes wouldn't make me unsuitable. Um, and secondly, I was even more elated to, to be told that surgery would help with my dry eyes. I then asked about the safety of uh, laser eye surgery and expressed my concern about having both eyes treated at the same time. Her response, Optical Express performed thousands of procedures every week without any problems whatsoever. Laser eye surgery was the safest surgery possible because there was really nothing that could go wrong. Um, she said that I would have 20-20 vision and never have to wear glasses for distance again. She did say that in a very small number of cases, this may not be achieved first time round, but in such rare cases, this would simply mean a top up or enhancement to achieve to achieve this. And this was, of course, free of charge. Um, but I shouldn't worry about this as it was extremely unlikely anyway. The end result either way would be 2020 vision. The same applied in the unlikely event that there was some regression um, a free top would sort it out, simple as that. She went on to say that if I proceeded with uh, surgery and opted for the more expensive intralays, I would experience crisp, crisp, clear vision and the vibrancy of colours would be absolutely staggering. Um, in, my, in response to my comment that I um, disliked night driving, uh, she said that if I opted for the intralase wavefront procedure, night driving would be made so much easier because of increased sharpness of vision. She told me she was talking from personal experience. She had had laser eye surgery herself and she was totally amazed um, by the outcome. She then referred to the Perspex box full of discarded glasses and said that I would be able to throw mine away. And although it was quite possible that I may need glasses for reading, I would only ever need inexpensive off the shelf ones. So she emphasized the savings that I would make not having to buy glasses. She then whizzed through a medical questionnaire as if it was just a formality. Um, I did have some questions on a couple of conditions I have um, but she waved away my concerns, saying that they were not of relevance, so there was no need to log them on the form. Um, I, was, I was a bit taken aback uh, by this and actually left a blank to the answer um, any other medical conditions, as I could not comfortably answer no. Um, she didn't even notice this. <clears throat> Counselor then proceeded to recommend the best procedure for me, which was LASIK, 
um, and she briefly explained the mechanics of the procedure. The basic price she came up with was far in excess of the, the advertised £395 per eye, um, but this was because of my prescription, as she said. OK, and well, I could live with that. But then she told me that, in effect, this price was for the basic value option, um, a bit like Tesco value or as, as to save a range, I guess. Um, <clears throat> but the more costly intralays would give much better results as it was more accurate. And because of my astigmatism, I would be more likely to get all the benefits she described if I opted for Wavefront. Um, she backed this up with charts and tables and comparative images, suggesting that um, the difference between the bargain basement and the top of the range was a very big one. Um, as she said, I was I was only going to make this decision uh, once and suggested that if I could afford it, that I consider shelling out for the superior procedure. The why have a Ford when you can have a Rolls Royce and um, you only have one pair of eyes, so look after them scenario. I totally bought into this. I mean, why, why scrimp when it was my eyesight that was um, in question? Um, the counsellor totted it all up um, and came up with a figure of three grand. Even more way out compared with the 3.95 per eye advertised. Um, but if I booked there and then, she could offer me a discount. Brilliant. She also told me that she would check availability at the Liverpool Clinic, which was the most convenient for me. Um, it seems the slots were getting filled up very, very quickly. And she suggested that if I was thinking about the Egypt snorkeling holiday in a few weeks' time, I should really consider booking surgery now. Um, as firstly, um, I would have to allow a few weeks healing time before snorkeling. And secondly, um, the slots were getting booked up very quickly. I told her that I hadn't really considered signing up there and then. I just wanted to find out more, which is um, why I hadn't asked my husband to accompany me. Uh, but she suggested that if I booked there and then, I could secure my slot. Um, but if I, ch if I changed my mind, having spoken to my husband, I could cancel no problem. She checked that I would be suitable for or eligible for credit, um, which I was, and uh, worked out the payments. Oh, so in a wave of euphoria at finding out I was suitable, um, I practically agreed to go ahead with the procedure recommended and the, at the price agreed. And yet at this point, I still hadn't even seen an optometrist and had not had my eyes examined. Um, but the counsellor reassured me, um, saying that there was, it was unlikely to be a problem. So once I'd seen him, we could sign in the credit agreement and, and Bob's your uncle. Um, so I'll talk about the optometrist's examination next.